what's up we're doing a um mini reveal slash review on two bags that i picked up in the last um month i don't know what it is about me like when i get my something in my head i start searching and i need it like right then and there i'm horribly impatient um but yeah i'll explain but um both vintage items both from louis vuitton and the first one is the Montserrat mm in the monogram and i got this for such a good price on ebay i got these both on ebay yeah that's right um i have owned the pm size which is really cute and i kind of regretted selling it that one tends to be more and also i just felt like i wish it was a little bit bigger especially if i were if i was traveling um plus i just carry a lot of crap with me so um, then I got the GM when we were going to start hiking and I thought that would be a good size, but, um, that really is only probably good for like hiking or traveling or something. This one I feel like is a good in between. Um, yeah, the little one was so cute, but I don't know. There's, um, I always think to myself, there's a reason I sold something. So let me just let it go and move on. Um, on very rare occasions I've repurchased things twice and sometimes I just never learn. But anyway, this one is like a really good size, just kind of sling on your shoulder. And it also sits a little bit better than the PM. The PM would kind of like do this, which really bugged me. This one sits a little better, so. It's really cute. And I think this would be like a perfect bag to bring with on a trip. Um, and also what I love about this bag is, um, oh, the little, yeah, the PM, this pocket was too small and on the GM it's great, but this one fits like a card holder or you could just do like lip gloss or whatever. Um, I have like my three things I always have to carry is like a little hand sanitizer, a little mini lotion, and a chapstick. Um, so this could all fit in there easily because I wouldn't really want to put my wallet in there just like for safety reasons. But um, anyway, I usually don't even buckle this all the way. I just buckle it um, just through the hole and then that way I can just literally do pop it like that and then just open it. Then I also usually tie like a slip knot here um, I just learned how to do that on YouTube. You can just search like how to tie a slip knot for No Way or Montserrat backpack or something. Anything bucket style. There's like a video about it. And then the inside is just one open pocket and there is a back slip pocket on this one, which I like the PM does not have a back slip pocket if I recall correctly. So I really, really like that this one has the back pocket. So that's that one. It's in um, decent condition. My main thing is like no cracks in the canvas, no major, major water stains on the um, leather and then also inside clean and not no smells and this one is perfect it had like the tiniest tiniest vintage smell but it doesn't bother me and now that I've had it for a few weeks now and I've been using it it's sort of like that's really dissipating so yeah and I love how like smooshy and worn in it is it's just perfect and I got this for three like 375 I think um, so I was really happy with that. Um, oh yeah, and then this one has, it does not have canvas straps like the GM and it does not have a handle like the PM. So it's kind of a mix between the two. The GM has canvas straps and this ring and the PM has leather straps and a little top handle, which I do love that top handle on the PM, but I wish they all three had that, but they don't, so. That's the first item and I've really been loving using it super casually. It's also really cool with just like leggings and a sweatshirt and yeah, it's like the perfect super casual bag 
and I'm enjoying it. The second item is, I'm just gonna reveal it and then I'll tell the story. It's the um, Cabas Alto. So the biggest size of the Cabas totes. It is huge. I think it's like, um, what is it? Like uh, 40 centimeters along the bottom, which I can't remember how many inches that is. And then it's like um, 20 inches this way. And like, I'm not sure how much this way, but it's really big. It's bigger than the Neverfull or close to the size of it. But what I love about this tote is it's um, deeper, like height wise. So I just feel like your stuff is a little bit like deeper down. It's not so exposed. Um, it does not have a zipper. It just is an open tote with a back zip and a D ring right there. And then it has um, a pretty solid bottom. Like it feels pretty hard. This is the place where you find the most wear on this bag is the corners, which this one has really good corners. Um, and then the other place you see wear is like at here. Um, you'll see the cracking start to happen and this one's good. And it also has a pretty even light patina for the age of it, which I believe this is like 2002. Um, yeah, 2002. Oh, and also love this. It has the little cell phone pocket, 2000s cell phone pocket, which is actually perfect for a pair of sunglasses. So anyway, um, this one also had no cracking to the canvas. Um, everything's in really good condition. The inside is completely clean, no smell, even patina. There's just a little bit of some marks on the bottom and some marks on the straps, but like not hardly any. Um, and then the other thing I love about this bag is the straps are more comfortable than the Neverfull. I've owned three Neverfulls and I hated, hated the Neverfull. Um, so I've always been looking for the perfect tote and I think this one was perfect for me. So it's huge and I'm like 125 pounds and 5'3", so it's massive, but I love it, such a vibe. And it will carry everything that I need for work. So I just literally put everything for work in here. My, my laptop, agenda, my little pouches that have like some extra stuff in it. Um, sometimes my lunch, though I don't love to put food inside of my designer bags, but um, yeah, so far so good with this guy. And I also think that these two together would be such a cute little travel set. So this could like sit on top of the rolling suitcase and then this could be on my back and I could just slip that down inside when I'm like, since you know, you only get two items on a plane. I hate checking luggage. So I just feel like, um, yeah, this would be good to like set stably on top of a suitcase and then you could just have this as a little companion with it. And that's it. So far, I'm loving these bags. You know me, I'm a serial buyer and seller, so who knows, but so far so good. And I'll definitely keep you updated with, um, you know, like in the future, how I'm feeling about them. But yeah, I do like them both. And I hope this was helpful. There's not a lot of videos at all about this particular bag because it's older, discontinued. Um, I think the most similar thing that they've done is the all-in tote. It's really similar to this, kind of like a mix between this and the Neverfull. I was debating that one, but um, I don't know. I just like that this was from 2000. Um, I remember a picture of like Angelina Jolie carrying this on a trip or something, and I always think of that, but... Yeah, it's a cool bag. I prefer vintage um, and love it. 
This one, oh, this one I paid a little bit more for because I was looking for it in decent condition. In crappy condition, you would find like the corners messed up and the straps kind of getting some cracking. So I paid like 900 for this and it was in my budget that I like how much I wanted to spend, but it was, I would have liked to have stayed closer to like 700, but that's okay. I really love it. I hope I'm going to have it for a long time and use it. Um, I take this to the office every day, so I think it's like a good investment, like something I'm going to use every day, but let me know if you guys have any questions about these bags. Let me know if you guys have these bags, because if we're all handbag lovers here, we might have some similar bags. Um, and that is it. I hope you loved this video and sorry, I haven't been here in a bit, but I will talk to you guys later.